I think a lot of people are uncomfortable with death. We're in denial of death, for sure, at least in the U.S. And I don't think I've ever been that way. I've been doing taxidermy for about eight years. I've always loved natural history and science and conservation and all of that stuff, so I sort of got into taxidermy that way. And I always saw scientific specimens as works of art. My work, it leans a little more towards the fantasy realm. There's always going to be like something a little bit ethereal. I practice sustainable taxidermy, so what that means is, you know, the animals are legally and sustainably harvested. Most of the animals I get are um, deaths from aviaries or zoos, wildlife centers that want things mounted for them for educational use. This is the Apollo 1 peacock pheasant, male. And this is for a zoo. I've worked on glossy starling, guinea fowl, mouse, <laughs> golden pheasant, rabbit, deer fawn, English sparrows, red-legged honey creeper, gira cuckoo. The main idea is you start with a frozen specimen, then you take the skin off of it. You have the fat, any of the like fleshy bits, any connective tissue is completely taken off. What you do then is make a form. The form is anatomically correct replica of the body, and then you put the skin onto the form. And then there's finishing work to do. I'm finishing up this girakuku by refinishing the legs, building up the scale detail that shrunk up with wax. Any color that fades, you have to repaint it. My normal turnaround time for a small mammal or a bird is um, three to six months. So I use a lot of different tools for taxidermy. So I have knives and scalpels, different scissors, tweezers, saws and hammers and screwdrivers and pliers and modeling tools, airbrush, and I have hand brushes for hand painting. Every taxidermist I've met all are united by this love of animals and a love of natural history and wanting to keep the best parts of these traditions alive. Being comfortable with death doesn't mean you don't take it seriously. Death is a natural part of the life cycle. It exists whether I'm here or not. It makes me feel humbled. It makes me feel like it makes me know my place. And I think that is the part that I find beautiful.